So today I'd like to review with my honors chemistry students problem 14, which is a percent composition problem and reads when a 14.2 14 14 .2 gram sample of mercury 2 oxide is decomposed into its elements by heating, 13.2 grams of mercury is obtained. What is the percent composition of the compound? This is a standard problem that chemists run into, and in particular, honors chemistry students, which is to determine the percent composition of a compound. You've been given the mass of the compound, which is 14.2 grams, and the mass of mercury that's produced in a decomposition reaction. So using that information and your knowledge that percent by mass is the part over the whole or the mass of an element divided by the mass of the compound, we can attack this problem vigorously by splitting it up into the known section, the unknown section, and a solution. So first of all, you're asked to calculate percent composition of the compound. You're being asked to determine what's the percent of mercury in the compound and some units of percent, and that would be percent by mass. And you're being asked to calculate the percent of oxygen in the compound, which is percent of oxygen by mass. That being said, the initial information you're given is that mercury oxide, the compound, the 14.2 gram sample of mercury to oxide is decomposed, meaning that this is mercury to oxide. So mercury plus two, oxygen is minus two, sums to zero. So therefore, first of all, you need to make certain that you write the correct formula for mercury to oxide, which is going to be a solid substance that when heated, decomposes to mercury, which is a liquid, plus oxygen gas, which is release. The oxygen gas, keep in mind, is a Dr. Hofbrinkel gas, so therefore it's considered to be diatomic in its naturally occurring state because oxygen is one of the Dr. Hofbrinkel elements. That being said, the next thing you need to do, or you might like to do, is to balance this reaction. Since you have two atoms of oxygen on the product side, you need two atoms of oxygen on the reactant side. Thus, you have two atoms of oxygen, but now you also have two atoms of mercury. So you need to put a coefficient of two on the product side in front of mercury. You're told initially that there are 14.2 grams 14.2 grams of mercury oxide, which produces 13.2 grams of mercury. And by default, the difference between 14.2 and 13.2 should be 1.0 grams of oxygen gas. That being said, in your solution, if you go back to your basic mathematics, Essentially, what you're going to do is to take the mass of an element and divide that by the mass of the compound that you've been given and multiply by 100%. So that's your solution pathway. Keep in mind, percent composition refers to the part over the whole, just like any other fraction or ratio, it's the part over the whole times 100. And with that, I would like to re-record these values as I typically do by saying, well, I've been given the mass of mercury oxide, which is equal to 14.2 grams of mercury oxide. I've also been given the mass of mercury, elemental mercury, which is 13.2 grams of mercury. And likewise, I've been given the 
mass of oxygen, which is 1.0 grams of oxygen by default. So in our solution, we've got two basic calculations to do, and we're gonna do them in the same step, essentially, because we need to calculate the percent composition of mercury and the percent composition of oxygen in the compound. <clears throat> To do that, we're going to go ahead and say we're look, we're going to take this unknown statement and say we're looking for the percent of mercury, which is equal to some value in the percent of mercury. And we're going to divide the mass of mercury by the mass of mercury oxide times 100%. The mass of mercury is 13.2 grams as we've been given in the problem and the mass of mercury oxide is 14.2 grams of mercury oxide times a hundred percent when you process this calculation Bear in mind that what you're really taking into account is the mass of mercury relative to the total mass of the compound. The value that you get is 92.95% mercury. And that being said, the mass measurements both have three significant figures because the decimal point is present. And again, you draw an arrow from the Pacific side until you get to the first non-zero digit, every digit thereafter is significant. So your answer should have the same level of precision as the least precise measurement in your problem. In this case, we're dividing and multiplying. So therefore we have to keep track of sig figs. So in essence, we can drop the five the nine rounds up to a zero, which rounds the two up to a three. So our answer essentially is going to be 93.0% mercury. Now, understanding percent as you do, you might surmise that 100% minus 93% means that the percentage of oxygen is in fact going to be 7%. But I want you to follow through on the calculation anyway, because it's good practice. So you're looking for the percent of oxygen in units of percent oxygen. You're looking for the grams of oxygen divided by the grams of mercury oxide, mercury two oxide times 100%. By default, the mass of O2 gas is 1.0 grams of O2. The mass of mercury oxide, once again, is 14.2 grams of HGO times 100%. And I suppose some of you are saying, but wait, this is O2, not O. But since we have one mole of oxygen on the right, which consists of two atoms of oxygen, and we have two atoms of oxygen on the left involved in this compound. It's somewhat of a moot point whether you call this O2 or O because it's still oxygen. So to be consistent here, I'm gonna go ahead and just refer to this as grams of oxygen. And keep in mind the law of conservation of mass that says in chemical reactions, atoms are neither created nor destroyed. They're merely rearranged in a reaction. So you note that we have the same number and kinds of atoms on both sides. We have two mercury atoms on the left, two on the right, two oxygen atoms on the left, two oxygen atoms on the right. And when you run this calculation and process it, you come up with an answer of 7.04% oxygen. And this is a little bit different because 1.0 for the mass of oxygen 
has two significant figures because the decimal point is present, so you draw an arrow from the Pacific until you get to the first non-zero digit. Every digit thereafter is significant, so the one and the zero are significant, just as the one, the four, and the two are. So our answer should really only have two sig figs. So our answer will work out to 7.0% oxygen, which makes good sense because 93 plus seven sums to 100% of mercury oxide. So with that, that's how you generally handle percent composition problems. Keep in mind it's the mass of an element divided by the mass of a compound or uh, the mass of the part over the mass of the whole times a hundred. So therefore that should be helpful to you in handling these kind of problems which are rather straightforward calculations and that should allow you to be successful on them in the future.